Hi, this is Jerry Catapang, the CEO of Week 17 Flying Ships LLC in St. Louis, Missouri, and the Vice President of Atlantic Week Craft BD Incorporated in Patterson, New Jersey. We design, manufacture, produce, and promote wing in ground flying ships, or commonly called as wings. We can all agree that time is money and money dictates profit growth, be it in the government or private entities. Here in America, the tide boats that we use for our cargo transport have an average speed of 15 knots. The ferries that we use have an average speed of 30 knots. Wing in ground flying ships have an average speed of 100 knots. Yes, the wigs are more than seven times faster than our tugboats and more than three times faster than our ferries. We can all agree that with this faster speed of wigs over tugboats and ferries, this would allow us to advance and reform our water transport system here in America. The Russians have perfected the wig technology. However, for decades, the Russian wigs are only available for their country, but not anymore. My partners, Vyacheslav Kolkanov and Yuri Sharov, designed, developed, and perfected the Russian wig technology. Together, we are now ready to build the first wing in ground flying ship here in America. Kolkanov is the chief pilot and head designer of Bertini Aerospace in Russia and also the head designer of Atlantic Wheatcraft BD here in America. Sharov is the CEO of Atlantic Wheatcraft BD in Patterson, New Jersey. Sharov is a wig aviation engineer. Kolkanov and Sharov are now ready to build wigs outside Russia and together and together we are ready to build wing in ground flying ships here in America. Quickly let us discuss the wing in ground flying ship profitability. In a nutshell the cost to operate wigs is only $200 per 100 mile and this includes the pilot salary all the permits necessary, the insurance, and all it takes to operate a wig. Again, it's only $200 per 100 mile. For cargo transport, the operating cost for wig flying ships is only seven cents per 100 mile. And this includes pilot salary, permits, insurance, and everything it takes to operate a cargo transport. The regular cost for a courier for a pound for a hundred mile is usually $28 to $65 for next day delivery. For a week, again, the cost, the operating cost for a pound per hundred mile package is only seven cents a pound. For passenger transport, the operating cost for wing in ground flying ship is only $8.50 per 50 mile. And this includes pilot salary, permits, insurance, and everything it takes to operate a passenger transport business. A regular one-way fare from Miami to Bahamas is $257. Now, the cost for a passenger transport for a 50 mile radius again with wing in ground flying ships is only $8.50 per 50 miles. Therefore, wigs will provide a huge savings to consumers and a big profitability to investors. Wig 17 Flying Ships LLC and Atlantic Wheatcraft BD need your help. We need your kind support. We need to raise at least 
$2.6 million to build the first wing in ground flying ship in America. Should we raise at least $10 million from this campaign? We would utilize that seed money to fund the first wing manufacturing plant here in America. We would also launch the first wing operation in the Mississippi River, Florida Keys and the Great Lakes. We would also build a showroom that would feature three different models. A 12-seater wig, a military wig, and also a VIP wig, an electric wig, the first electric wig in the world. Yes, it's quite a task and we need a lot of money to make this project happen. However, we are faithful that there would be a funder and investor out there who would catch the same vision that we have to advance and reform the water transport here in America. This will happen. We believe that. With your help, together we can make this dream a reality. Jerry Catapan with Week 17 Flying Ships LLC in St. Louis, Missouri, and Atlantic Quick Craft BD in Patterson, New Jersey, would like to thank you for your kind support. Please fund us now. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. From Russia. With love, I fly to you, much wiser since my goodbye.